All right. Hello, and welcome to this episode where we are going to talk about how to overcome avoidance as a compulsion. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Matt Cotty, and I'm the founder of Restored Minds and the creator of the AAA Response. And um, in this series, we're doing the OCD and anxiety FAQ or frequently asked questions. And so if you have a question that you'd like to submit for uh, this series, um, please check out the links down below. You'll be able to submit a question and we can review it for a future episode. Um, so this this question was submitted and, and I kind of paraphrased it, but, you know, the question was basically, um, how do I overcome avoidance if it's one of my main compulsions? And w because I avoid, it obviously leads to me avoiding ERP, which is obviously one of the primary interventions we're going to use. So and, and avoidance being a compulsion. So, you know, I kind of summarized the question as how do I overcome avoidance as a compulsion? Um. Avoidance, just like anything else, is just something we do to not feel well, or to, I'm sorry, to not uh, feel uncomfortable, right? We, so if, if, let's say if we had a panic attack at a certain restaurant, we might avoid that restaurant, right? If we had a bad experience, uh, you know, at, um, in, in a certain place, we avoid that, or we don't like a certain person, we avoid them, you know, whatever, because essentially we're avoiding that, that stimulus, right? That, that, that bodily sensation that happens. So instead of thinking of it like, Hey, how do I stop avoiding things? You know, I mean, cause the pretty direct answer is, well, don't avoid them. Right. But that's not really going to help because the reason that you're avoiding is because you're, you're uncomfortable feeling these uncomfortable sensations and you are operating from beliefs that you're not supposed to feel this way or that you shouldn't feel this way, or it's bad to feel this way. So, you know, every time you do, you, you get into these, you know, probably panicky or very reactive states and, and flee, right? Like that's just essentially your sa safety mechanism is to flee to get out of there. So what we want to do is we want to start to build your tolerance to your ability to to navigate discomfort in your body. And, and what that means is, is that we actually move towards things that, that activate these feelings that you want to avoid. And we would, um, and of course, this is all hypothetical, but what we would do is we'd start building your tolerance and showing you that you actually can navigate these feelings. Now, when we're in the feeling states, we also need to make sure we're not doing any other compulsions, all the mental safety behaviors and this and that. That's why we use the AAA response. And that's obviously one of the main interventions I'd be, um, you know, advising you on um, it, with, with that. But, and you can check out more in the, in the notes of the show um, to, to learn more about that. But when it, when it comes to like overcoming avoidance, the, the first thing is, is what are we really avoiding? Why are we avoiding it? Right. And then from there, what we want to do is start to say, okay, like if, if it's discomfort that I'm, that I'm really avoiding, cause it's really not the situation you're avoiding, you're avoiding how the situation makes you feel. So it's the feeling that, that we're really looking to, to get more comfortable with. And as we get more comfortable with that feeling state and we get more comfortable being uncomfortable and we start to actually trust our ability to navigate uncomfortable feelings, then what we would do is we'd start to actively seek out situations from a hierarchy level, right? You know, like starting kind of low and then moving up to really go into situations that activate these feelings. But the first thing we would do before we did any of that is really develop your ability to, to stay with and to be with uncomfortable feelings, you know, and usually we're talking about fear, anxiety, things like that. And, and building up your tolerance to that so that when you start removing avoidance, um, you, you're actually doing the right things when those feelings are coming up. So hope that was helpful. Um, and, I, and I hope that makes sense. And again, if you're looking for more information, uh, you can always check us out at restoredminds.com. Again, the links in the notes. And with that said, um, yeah, we'll catch you on the next episode of the OCD Anxiety FAQ. See you guys soon. Hey there, hope you enjoyed that recent video. Uh, we really would appreciate your support real quick if you could like and subscribe to our channel. And if you're looking for help with OCD and anxiety, please check out the links below or visit restoredminds.com as we'd be happy to help you on your journey. Thanks so much.